Today, I would like to specially focus on this new budget that Canada has released recently for 2022, where they have some, you know, a lot of attack on real estate and a lot of things going on. I know many people have a fear or, you know, eager to know what's going to happen in real estate market because of these changes. You know, there are a lot of changes like, you know, interest rates started to go up. In the budget, they are talking about a ban on um, foreign buyers for two years, and they're going to work on increasing the amount of new constructions, and they have allotted a budget for that. So let's talk about all those details in more in deep. And also, if you have any questions related to real estate investing, real estate sales, you know, anything, you know, that's stopping you to achieve financial freedom, please let me know in the comments, because this is the opportunity. I wish I had when I started, you know, someone is answering my questions, because when you get your questions answered you know even that one question that's you know back of your mind that has been stopping you you know help you to move forward so while i'm talking about this new budget plan i'll be answering the questions as well so let me quickly share my screen here just to go over a few highlights about the 2022 canadian budget and then I'll, you know, throw my comments on it. And also, I would like to hear your comments on them because, you know, by no means I'm not an expert or I'm not a guru, you know, that you see claims that you do this. This is a perfect idea. Nope. I'm also learning along the way with you guys. So learn from each other, grow together. So without ado, let me share my screen here. This is the, you know, one of the biggest thing that on the budget that I can see is they are trying to make housing affordable for people who are within Canada. Canada because you know one of the biggest challenge from last few years because of the prices going up crazily 20 25 percent every year making it impossible for regular working class families you know whose dream is to own a home because you know I know when I'm growing up buying a home and buying a car is the biggest dream for anyone so you know I understand and that's what can um, Canadian government is trying to focus on so some of the few you know important things that i noticed in this budget that could make an impact on the market so to start with if you're a first time home buyer and if you haven't bought a property a great news for you is they are bring coming up with this new program called tax free first time home saving account so what it means is actually it is almost like a rrsp so rrsp you put the money in for that year, how much ever the amount you put in, you can write off the taxes. So if you're making 100,000 and if you have a contribution of $10,000, so if you contribute to that RRSP account, that $10,000 will become like, you know, uh, pretty much your year income for that year becomes 90,000. So instead of paying taxes for 100,000, you pay taxes for 90,000. So with this RRSP, they're allowing the first time home buyers, especially this one applies for first time home buyers only you can save up to 40,000. So if you have a 40,000 sitting around or if you're trying to save up for a down payment, now you put that 40,000 into TFSA, first time home saving account, it's, it becomes a tax deductible. So if you're making 100,000, you put 40,000 towards this account. So your taxable income becomes that year 60,000. So minus that 40,000. So you saved on the taxes. So now you can, it will allow you to save more money. So this is a good news for first time home buyers. And then, you know, the next thing that I have seen here to highlight on is accelerated fund for new housing. So one of the biggest reason why we have seen in last few years, there is a crazy jump in the prices because the supply was low, all time low for last few years. And the demand, the number of buyers on the market is pretty high. So the government now allotting some budget to increase the amount of new construction. So that's what, you know, if you read here with the target of creating 100,000 new housing housing units for over the next five years. So definitely adding 100,000 new units into the market will definitely help up with the supply issue. So again, it's a great news in my opinion, because this could stabilize the market. You know, a lot of people who've been waiting for years, probably, you know, it, this could be your chance to, you know, get into the market. And I would love to hear your comments. What do you think this, how this new budget can impact on the real estate market? Let me know in the comments, because, you know, like I said, I would love to hear the feedback. I don't want to just, you know, assume what my opinions are correct. 
I would love to hear. And then, you know, the another highlighted point here, a ban on foreign investments in Canadian housing. So they're planning to ban pretty much foreign buyers for next two years. So if you have joined me live last week, I was talking about this last week or before last week where, you know, they increased the foreign buyer tax in Ontario before it was only in horseshoe area, which is like around GTA. Um, there was 15% tax and now they increased to 20% and they applied over Ontario and with this new budget they're saying throughout Canada wide they're going to ban the whole foreign investors so they're not even allowing the foreign investors and of, of course there are a few exceptions if you go through I, I read through this like the exceptions or if you're a student or working you know on a work permit you are exempted or if you have a permanent residency so that means you're not a foreign investor so you can still buy a home and another major one i have noticed here is you know making property flippers pay their fair share so basically if you own a house and you did some cosmetic updates if you want to sell within the first year there you could have taken some tax advantages so now they're trying to target the flippers you know technically when who are buying the property doing some improvements and selling within the first year they now has a regular income taxes so that would definitely impact um, a bit on the market as well because there are a lot of flippers out there who are just continuously buying and doing some improvements and selling back on the market so again this is my understanding from the government's point of view they are trying to reduce the demand because you know with the supply being low being a lot of buyers so they are trying their best to reduce the number of buyers so if you see the first one foreign buyers so they're reducing and they want to make the housing affordable for the people who are within the canada which is a reasonable thing because you know you have to make sure your citizens are, you know make their dreams come true so this is another major impact i'm looking at here and also you know they want to support more rent to own projects you know if you don't know what rent to own means let me know in the comments below maybe i'll talk another video in detail but in short rent to own is like you can rent a place and then you have a flexibility to buy that place after two years or three years with a certain fixed agreement with the person whom you're renting it from and you yeah, again some other you know important elements within the budget but these are the few highlights that i think would make an impact on the market and on top of it you know with the interest rates going up just yesterday 50 basis points has been increased so what do you guys think how much impact do you think would this happen let me know in the comments Thank you.